And welcome back. Well, the other night I was out walking and noticed it getting a little buggy out and my windows are beginning to be covered with spiders. So <laughs> once the weather warms up, our insect friends show their little ugly heads, but not to worry because the bug girls are here today. It's Janelle Iacchino and Anna Kleck and they are back from Rose Pest Solutions. We call them the bug girls and you know what? They're okay with that. Good morning to you both. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm seeing, obviously, like I mentioned, my windows being covered with spiders, getting all those little bugs. There's more bugs out right now. So what kind of pests are beginning to be a problem? What are we seeing in, in the bug world, girls? Yeah, we literally went from like winter weather to summer weather. So everything's crawling out of the woodwork. But there's two particular pests that everybody's got going on right now that we need to look out for, especially homeowners. Those are ants. Everyone's got tiny ants in the kitchen or in the bathroom and also termites. And I wanted to show this because this used to be someone's windowsill oh. and look how damaged it is. Wow. This is what this is what can happen if you let one little pest issue go too long. Oh my gosh. I mean, people are going to be like, yep, I've seen that before. Oh, that's what's going on. So how do we prevent these pests in the first place or prevent them from getting to that point? Yeah, so everybody's spring cleaning right now. You just really want to make sure you are practicing good sanitation, especially in your kitchen. Don't leave crumbs. Don't leave water on the floor. Vacuum regularly. And then for the outside of your home, you want to make sure that you're raking back any foliage from the perimeter of your foundation and trimming back any tree branches to make sure they can't use them as highways to get into your house. Oh my God. I mean, all of that sounds easy, but let's be honest, sometimes you just fall behind, you know? So when is it time to actually call someone like yourselves, a professional in to come and actually help be the solution for you for these pests? Yeah. So if there's any question about what you've got going on, and even if you're seeing just a dozen of ants a day, you have to keep in mind that that's only a small percentage of the actual colony size. So that could be indication that there's a bigger underlying issue underground. So getting an expert to the scene to properly identify the species and then prescribe the best kind of treatment is really the best way to go because a lot of these pests are not DIY pests and termites are not covered under homeowner's insurance, which is the killer. Ah. Oh. You know, it's so crazy because the other day I was at a, a, a residence or a place where they actually had stink bugs. I didn't even realize we had stink bugs here in Wisconsin. I had seen one for the first time when I was recently on a trip in Atlanta. I was like, oh, my gosh. So they had to have pest control. But that's the thing. I mean, I thought about it because I traveled and I stayed in an Airbnb, but summer vacations are around the corner. And that's one thing you girls say is important to pay attention to. If you're staying in an Air Airbnb or a hotel or something like that, or a resort to be pay attention for bed bugs. What do we need to know there? I mean, that freaks me out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody's traveling again. Things are opening up. So vacations are about to be planned and summertime is here. And so really the, the key is just best practices. You know, when you check into a hotel or an Airbnb, stick your luggage in the tub because that's the best safe place for your, your items until you can expect, inspect everything. So you wanna peel back the corners of the sheets on beds, look behind the, the headboard on the bed, use your, your phone flashlight just to do a thorough inspection and look for any signs of flecks of uh, black spots that could be the bed bug fecal deposits or actual insects. I mean, there's tons of information on our website about what these things look like. So you can do your research, make sure you're doing all the best things so you're not bringing home critters that you don't want home. Oh my God, you guys are making me itchy, right? Like I'm <laughs> I feel like everybody's getting a little itchy even looking at that. I didn't realize you could see bed bugs, so that's actually important. And here's the deal. I know from people who have had them brought home, that is not a DIY pest. Like you, no. you have to have a professional come in and get that out. And the sooner you get a professional involved, the faster the remedy is because these things multiply like crazy. So they can get out of control really fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what should somebody do if they think they need you guys? Do you come out and look? What do you do? Yep, you can get a free quote from us online if you go to rosepestcontrol.com or give us a call at 1-800-GOT-PESTS and we'll send an expert out to inspect, properly identify, and prescribe the best solution for your environment. I mean, props to you girls because nobody else wants to do this. So Janelle <laughs> and Anna, thank you for being the bug girls so we don't have to.
<laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. And right now, Rose Pest Solutions has this special offer for Morning Blend viewers. They're giving $50 off any new ongoing prevention plan. Also, as a perk for their most popular residential prevention program, which is called Health Home Maintenance Program, they're going to provide a complimentary termite risk assessment for some um, for peace of mind. So for a free quote for your home or your business, they can go there too. Call the local experts at Rose by dialing 1-800-GOT-PEST. And for more information, you can always visit their website. It's rosepestcontrol.com.